All right. Um, welcome everybody back to uh, the Moth Project as usual. So uh, I'll uh, I'll guide you through this problem. Um, the problem was that uh, my uh, my internet connection with Discord was actually just failing right now. Probably had to do something with the lights. I don't know, but I have to do something with it. I am sure. Uh, so no, 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 no. So today we're gonna fill up this area right here, and if we're able to reach that high, we can actually try to do that as well. So that's the idea at least. So I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this, and probably the internet is a little bit failing on my side, but it should not be that of a problem today. So I hope you're all gonna be enjoying. Anyway, let's get started. So, So what I'm gonna do today is like, you know, first get all the feathers textured and then get starting. It's a shameful that uh it's a shame that my uh, how do you say it? The Discord actually got bucked out again. But you know it happens sometimes when you're using it too much. Well, you know. That's my thoughts at least of it. Like I use it a lot of times. Most of the times I'm just gonna be drawing, you know, and then you know I wanted to switch to the drawing itself. Well, I'm bucked out, so yeah. No, well, yeah, it it shows so good. I don't know if the recording is correctly done, but hey, you know, one way to figure out is just by God damn it. I'm gaping right now, so I don't think I will be able to stop that. So I'm trying to do whatever I wanted to do in the first place, and that's getting these things done. Also, I have now a wet blanket with me to refresh the, uh, uh, well, to create this beautiful thing that's called, uh, what is it called? Oh yeah. Ooh, I can now see clearly now on the tablet. So that's the thing. Also, it removes any stains on it. Which, you know, my my hands are very very uh, very far uh, very fast filthy it's not because I'm a filthy person but it is because of the um uh, grease that my uh, my sweat produces is really annoying to deal with sometimes so on a hot day it is even worse because then you know the grease is everywhere that's why I cannot draw on a hot day normally that's why I normally choose to go early on these things, but you know, now that that is no more because it's getting it's getting later and it's now winter period. I am able to do so with 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 grace or whatever that's called. So yeah.
So yeah, we're gonna continue on these feathers, and then eventually we're gonna continue on the... Oh, did I do it on the right part? Oh, I did, I did. I'm smart this time. Ho! Oh, sometimes I'm not very smart upon this approach, but yeah, no. I did today. I did it. I successfully... Because I worked on the on the wing beforehand, I am still on the wing. So I'm very happy that I did that. Um, holy hell, that's a lot of gaping. I'm not supposed to do that. Because it totally made my voice go weird. But, hey, you know, it happens. It happens. Also, tr I'm trying to focus on, you know, getting these feathers correctly done, so... If it looks like I'm not talking that much, it's because of the focus I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep my focus on, on the... on the drawing. You know, I try to keep focus on the chat as well, but... Sometimes it's really hard to do so. Because I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing, and what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Blue! Nice to see you around. Ah. So, yeah, these uh, feathers are possibly going to be good looking if I'm now zoomed out, so I'm going to check. Double checking is always worth it. Yeah, that works well. That works well enough. That's good enough. It's really hard, you know, sometimes to draw up tiny because of the amount of, you know, pixels I'm... So I drew these feathers really hard. I drew these feathers really, really tiny. So it's sometimes really difficult for me to fill up the feathers itself. But I'm trying to do my very best upon getting there. So I think I need to zoom. Out. I think I need to zoom out, zoom out a little bit to get better point, get a better point of view of how it looks like. And I'm using the right pencil, am I? Yes, I'm using pencil too. Good, good, good. So yeah, um, eventually, you know, this is all gonna be just you know doing stuff. So. I'm sometimes wondering, like, you know, if I never have done, if I had not done this digital art, uh, did not go to digital art, instead of, you know, going for regular art, I would not have done anything with it. Because if I would have done the normal art, I would have kept to penciling and not to painting or anything else. And this this kind type of digital art it really helps me provide a better ground to stand on when I try to represent myself like who are you and what what are your specialties like and I can just show them this YouTube account and be like yeah that's those are my specialties so I'm very happy upon that. Also, I have been trying to play some games today to see how tr how well how difficult it actually can get. And holy hell, that wasn't difficult. Also, I want to do something in the upcoming streams when I try to game. So don't mind me upon that. That's just me doing my regular schedule. But yeah. 
I really like that. Uh, that I'm doing this. You're in the way in. Yeah. So how much do we have left? I think we're almost there from that point. Because I already drew a lot of it last time. Also there is no heavy rain today. It already have fall. It already have fallen, so there should be no rain expecting, so I can just, you know my window up, have some fresh air. There you go. Ah. So yeah, I'm trying to do my, my very best upon drawing, but you know, sometimes I get distracted by the little things, which happens sometimes. It's really annoying because then you lose your focus, but... I'm trying to do my very best upon getting this. Oh, 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 where am I? Yeah, right there. Yeah, this is really hard to do because the feathers are not. Uh, some feathers are not big enough to draw a texture on because they're too tiny. It happens. It happens. That's my mistake. Also, if I have used better DPI, I think I could have done it, but I don't know. Sometimes it's very strange how DPI works. I'm not having yet a good clue upon it. But yeah. So most of this is just gonna be just draw these things and well eventually I will get to the end of it. But, you know it takes some time, just relaxing time. You know it's just it just takes so many parts that need to be filled in. That's the main problem most of the times. It's not the drawing itself; it's the uh, amount of investment you want to pull into it. I like to put a lot of investment into my pro into my drawings just because you know it calms me down it helps me relax and I like it I like this uh, amount of detail into my drawings it's not for everyone but 
Yeah. I'm also trying to do uh, keep the details to a limit, li limit, like drawing them not every single time, because otherwise, you know, you will not find. Otherwise, the detail is lost, which happens. Oh, looks like my uh, looks like I'm also have an update for the driver, my graphic driver. Yeah, that's nice to know. Now we're going down. Now the wings are no actually the feathers are moving more are better. Well not the best, but it'll do. But yeah, the uh, this draw draw uh, the, uh, this drawing takes a lot of time and work. But you know, I don't mind taking that much time. It's like always, a, I always have a free day off, so yeah, it's not like I'm going anywhere these days with all the lockdowns and all the stuff going behind me, behind my back. So I don't mind doing this at all. I actually more, more enjoyed it I actually more enjoy it than going out with friends. Because you know eh. There you go. Oh boy. That's not a good sign when I get it when I get hiccups. Ugh. Looks like I did not draw these feathers properly again. Oh, that's not good. Because that takes a long time before I can do anything with it. So let's see. How f when is it done? I think we're close to it. The good news is I finally did my job, what I had to do, and I was actually inform someone and then give the give it a, a give that person the uh, file to print out the boat project again, so that finally can p uh, be into a hiccups. I always scare, <laughs> always scares, <laughs> scared. I always scare them away. <laughs> oh yeah. Of course, that's the best medicine. Just, just spook someone. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I am.
busy with um I'm now currently busy with the boat project to get finally uh finish it. So I have sent I have sent the file again towards the this time I saved it properly. So this time it should not be it should not be ruined. Um and it should be in the right size and the right format. So it will fit at the place where it's supposed to be hanged. And then, you know, I will get it back home again, the whole thing. And guess what I need to pay for it? For a big giant poster that I will give freely. Hmm. You can guess in dollars if you want. I don't mind. I don't mind the calculation. Because it's that close, I think. European dollars and dollar European euros and dollars are actually the same, so for me then at least like dollars are maybe one euro less worth than euros itself, but eh. I don't mind. So, well, let's see. Let's take a look at this. That's a beautiful feather looking there. Yes. A little bit, maybe a little bit too tall. Eh. Not really, because I already have. Eh, uh, maybe. Goodness, I have no idea. How, uh, haven't bought many posters, let let alone paid for one to be made. Ah, well. Um. You know the, you know the, you know, uh, you know how to work with Monopoly money. So you know how monopoly money works. All right, think about a twenty-dollar brief. Uh, well, money. You know, you know the twenty-dollar sign. That's exactly what you need to pay. So it's twenty dollars almost for a big giant poster of. Uh, uh, I'm not good with that one, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, around seventy meters by fifty meters in. Uh, so. 70 meters in length and 50 meters in in wide, in width, in yeah, width. There you go. So that's that, that's how much it, uh, I need to pay for it, and that's gonna be you know the cost that I need to pay to get that to the person that ordered it. You know my uh, my boat project, and then you know produce it. So the produ the production of it is actually twenty dollar twenty dollars in, in total. So that's actually quite cheap. And I mean, that's really cheap. For my for my thinking, because if I had to produce it on canvas or anything else, that would be way more expensive than, you know, what I'm now going to do. So it's more like a sticker that you can put on your big giant uh, wall and then use it as a wallpaper. Which is quite cool. So that's how it's gonna be used. A big giant one. That doesn't sound bad at all. For something that big. Yeah. I know, right? Alright, so I'm gonna try to do this correctly. So control. Uh did I have the English on? Yes, I have the English on. Now I need to find that number. Oh the horses. I need to find these two. No. Con Control again. All right, I found I found the thing. So now I need to go to here and say Control. Oh my God, I could do it! Yes. All right, this saves me a lot of time. This saves me a lot of time. Behold, I did magic there. Ooh, Crow told me. <laughs> so there you go. It's a very, very spooky thing to do. Oh, especially at Spooktober. Oh. This is so much easier. This is so much easier. So much easier than anything else I did. So yeah. I can just now, you know, get this thing all up. I don't have to deal with anything anymore. Mwah. I can just follow these lines and I will be fine when drawing these things. Oh, that saves a lot of time. That saves a lot of time. Even though it looks a little bit strange. 
Oh, mind's blown. Yes, yes. Very much that. <laughs> mind blown, is it indeed? I love how this is actually working. I also forgot to put the link into Don's stream, into Don's channel, where I promote your own content, but oh, I, I kind of forgot, so. That's why I make a terrible movie writer, because I always forget things, especially the important things, so that's a thing. But yeah, I'm I'm getting close to my writing, actually. I'm now at the part where they figure out that the blue light they follow disappeared when, once they enter a very cool looking area where, you know, the light of the sun actually creates this golden effect upon statues. And they don't know where the good blue light will come. So they, they are missing now the blue light which they followed because they thought it was the energy source they were looking for. Now, that is indeed a problem because I'm gonna show them something very spooky it's called an insect that stole somebody else's face and then you know use that to lure them inside of a trap and then you know slice and dice and mice and cries you know slice 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 them up into pieces seed more as a Pokemon like Scyther but then, you know, use the actual sites to kill people with. But yeah, that's the, uh, that's the idea. That, that's what uh, the crew of the expedition are now dealing with. They're dealing now with a very spooky thing. One, because, you know, they want to find the energy source, but they find the demon instead. A very spooky demon that can teleport around in the shadows. Oh, thanks. Also, well, let's see. Oh, I think we need to turn around again. Do we need to turn? Do we need to turn? Let me just take a look at it. Oh, I can lower this up. Uh, yes, I need to turn a little bit. Alright, wish me luck upon this. I need to do this correctly. And there it is. Boom. Magic. Ha. Oh. I love working at this. This is so this this saves me so much time. The funny thing is actually that somebody else told me like how to do it. I was like, "Wait, you can actually do this in this program?" And I'm like, "Wait, what? How?" And then he showed me like, "Ah, oh, that that's how." So I'm very happy that Space Junk told me so. Because I was very confused that uh, that it was actually a thing that existed in this I should really read the manual first before I use actually a program. I really should. But I didn't. That's how I work. Read the manual when you don't want to read the manual. Don't read the manual when you need to read the manual. That's that's more like it. Better go for trial and error if I say so myself. I'm more that kind of a risky person. I like to I I really like my risks, but I'm terrible at math, so you know, I made a very terrible calculation sometimes. But yeah, it saves a lot of time. And also, God bless Control Z. Control Z. Mm. That thing is a lifesaver sometimes. Holy hell. I prefer, I prefer to, <laughs> to wing it and learn as, <laughs> as I go as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a really funny thing, you know. Like you, you cannot do jack shit with it first and then be like, oh, that's how it works. Oh well, and then instantly your skills gets improved really quickly. Like, oh well, that saves me a lot of, s that saves me a lot of stuff. And some people are very happy that, you know, you can learn on the fly. Other people cannot learn on the fly, and that is really sometimes a problem. I had that once with a person, you know, he could not learn that quickly, so I had to teach him, like, you need to go from A to B to C to D, and then, you know, he got it. So It's funny. Yeah. 
seen. There you go. So yeah, um, let's see, let's see, let's see how far we got already because I want to take a quick look before I continue because that's always handy dandy because then you can see if you make a mistake. And I didn't make a mistake. All right, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Flawless. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Always make always make combustible lemons to burn your fucking house down. That's always very dandy dandy. It's so funny that these things are so good to work around with. Also I like this tablet a lot. It saves me a lot of time. The most problems I had with this tablet was like, you know, the early learning curves, like how does this thing work? But the responsiveness and the um how do you say the colorization is correctly so um I can see things correctly. I can put the brightness down if I want to. I don't have to. I can do a lot with it. And eventually I will buy the two thousand uh, the two thousand version. Trust me upon that. I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until this thing collapses from the ground and then I will buy a new one, you know? And it's gonna be from the same company because I like this company a lot because it's it's so easy for me to handle this thing. So quickly learned. Uh let's see. Also, um what I do like about this about this Hawk Moth project is like how quickly I'm getting there. How quickly. It's not that I'm going fast, don't get me wrong, this is actually quite slow. If you see other people do it like holy shit, I'm doing I'm gonna go like a I'm gonna wanna go on a sluggish snail rate. But I never quit. I never do something and then not finish it. I am not a quitter. Because I'm doing it equally. I balance it like every single day I will every single day I work on it and then you know that causes me to work with it. So, as long as I just keep up my motivation and keep up with the rest of it, you know, I am fine. Because I will not quit this project, I will work through it like like a madman, but I always do it every single day except Sunday and Saturday because that's my days of gaming. Well, those days are the one the one days that I like to play games. At least when I want to do something. But yeah, I really, really like it. Like, you know, like to have this tight schedule of every single day, doing it on the same time, at the same day, and then work on it. Normally I would have done it, like, er, uh, on the, on, normally I would have done it already on every single, uh, every single day at 7 o'clock, but when the summer came, I was so sweaty and full of grease that uh, you know it was not very recommended to work then on that on those days at the late late at night so what I did was actually switch it around and then you know do that instead I'm a very happy I'm very happy that I did so because it saves me a lot of trouble it saves me a lot of problems because you know Back then, I wasn't sure how to handle this thing, and uh, sweat makes me, you know, uh, give me unpredictable movements, which I don't want because, you know, I'm working on a drawing. So I did actually did it at early as possible, like seven o'clock, which normally is like a very early bird waking up, and I'm like, yes, I should do that, and now I am like, oh, thank God, it's no more longer the sun. So I can now do this very easy and very quickly if I want to. So, oh well, I can do this undisturbed, which I like. But yeah, eventually, you know, this this thing. I'm wondering. I can actually make this whole rainbow-looking, you know, bird-like if I want to, because it's it's so it's so yeah. You can make it a reflect or something, reflect light and. 
Hey, it's so cool that you have so much possibilities even thinking about, you know, what I'm, what kind of color I'm gonna do for this texture. What kind of color I'm gonna do for the wings. What kind of color should I do for the whole bird. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful to have that kind of feeling, you know. But you know, it all takes time. It all takes time and learning how to do things. So, I don't blame people, you know, when they are, you know, in an issue like... You don't know how to draw things, or you don't know how to do things correctly, because, you know, I also have things that I cannot do. Or, well, not cannot do, but have problems doing. Like, for instance, uh, the most problematic thing I have done was actually sculpting a bloody damn horse. Don't get me wrong, horses are cute and beautiful, but holy hell, they are pain in the ass to draw or sculpt. Ooh, they are difficult. They are so damn difficult. Most likely it's the hat, because that's the strangest feature of it all. But, yeah, it's a very difficult creature to draw. Even though I'm very good at drawing creatures, I'm not very good at drawing horses. Doing a light study soon to learn how rainbow lights... Oh, that's really cool. Did you know that I actually have a whole book about colors? At my at my big giant library of books. It's actually a, it actually uh, tells you what the color uh, what the color codes are and uh, which colors work well with each other, which colors don't work well with each other, which colors do not work with each other and which colors absorb the other color. So you know uh, how to avoid them, which is quite cool. I bought it like for three euros or something at a book market, at a bookstore one day. And I always love to read books. Informa information books are my favorite kind of books to read. Because, you know, they're not very difficult to understand. It's just information. You read it or you don't read it. So yeah, um, that's a thing. Oh yes, it was very helpful information. But you know, it was very chaotic. Uh, it was a very chaotic book. It had not a very good register, if I say so myself. But it had some few lovely things in it. It's old, but hey, you know, it works. Uh, I can see if I can find it and I can show you, but it takes like a time. I really want to spend that time now on the moth project itself. Uh, let me see how far I am because I want to see it, so I'm almost there. Oh my god, I'm almost there. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, I'm almost there. So what I just did was actually cause the feathers to be on the right up. This gives me more, uh, how do you say, I can now do this so that the feathers actually work like a rainbow, so they actually go up, instead of, you know, they are they are forced to be drawn up. Which sometimes happens, because I'm not very good sometimes at drawing them correctly, so, ah, my head is getting heavy, god damn it, that's not a good sign. E, need to work. I was thinking of having gods in my comic reflect uh, re uh, ref uh, reflect light, but if uh, but if I if I'm going to draw that over and over, I need to understand it better. Ah, huh. that's actually quite cool. If I ever want to make a front page of a comic, I would do it with the king. I would do it with the Mad King. That's uh, that would be a very cool thing. Mad King is a very cool, a cool, a cool necromancer. It's a very cool necromancer. He he just he just uses necromancy to use it for an army. But his power is you know that he can create bodies, so he can make lifelike bodies that work like normal zombies, but you know still have some brains in it. So they are smart zombies, which is quite cool. 
Also, it's sec also his secret weapon is a stone dragon, but you know it has been sealed by the dwarven gods to prevent mayhem from happening. So that's why he's waging a war against the dwarves first to uh, weaken the curse that was put on to uh, put on his siege weapon. Well, at least that's so far how far I already got with the story. Uh, well, not how far I got with the story. How far I got with writing the story's outlines. How far I got with the story is a little bit more further, but you know, that's a little bit more... It's a little bit more... Eh, talk. It's more... He's the greatest in the world, you know, that kind of stuff, which is trashy most of the times. I like to have a villain that is actually quite strong, but he doesn't have to be, you know... He needs to be world ending, but he doesn't need to be very strong. He needs to be beaten. He needs to be beaten. That's why he's focusing on the dwarves now. And once he's done with the dwarves, he will continue raving havoc. That's when the alliances are going to be called in. And that's when, and once the alliances are beaten, the gods will intervene. And if the gods will intervene, that means that angels are coming down on earth, which are going to be really painful to defeat because they're angels and you know necromancy and angels you know that's not a really good match so he cannot use that and that's when you know shit is gonna be happening that's when he's gonna face defeats and then he's gonna get desperate desperate to change his fate and because he's not able to change his fate he's gonna blow up the whole bloody damn world by sucking it in by destroying a portal that's just, you know, is linked to other worlds, which causes a mayhem from chaos to here to a chaos that's gonna be unraveling, if not be stopped. Well, that's how far I got it, at least. It's not a match made in heaven, but you could say, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. But yeah, that's how far I got. You know, gods have powers to intervene, have powers to intervene, but won't intervene unless, you know, the real balance of the balance of the world is at stake. Which it's gonna be, but it is not yet built up to that. I am now just writing the parts where, you know, this casual adventure group is gonna be on an adventure to find a new energy source, which is gonna be used by the king. At a later state, because he's gonna be just snit stealing it right in front of their noses. By sending in a mercenary group, which is gonna be robbing them. And then, you know, all the fun starts. Well, technically rob them, it means just be very nice and try to persuade them to give it up. Otherwise, you know, they get, get, get shot. Very nice mercenaries. Very lovely people. Just give them the item or you die. That's how normal rubbly, rubbly works in the in the old days. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Mm, ah yes, we're almost there. Good. But I don't have enough space for it. I just need to keep on this on this point. I need to keep on this zoom, otherwise I will get lost. With the skill uh, with the feathers that are in the middle. Yep. So yeah, um, I do have my imagination, and I love to draw with my imagination. But uh, it is uh, sometimes a little bit weird, you know. You want to draw something and then it turns out to be very spooky. Or it's like, what the hell did I just draw for a kind of abomination in my face? I'm like, yeah, that works. That works. Or, no, it doesn't. And then I need to erase it. I always, back in the day, I always went doodling at classes, you know. Because I was too good at the classes. I was this kid that always were like, oh, I know the answer. And then everybody's like, no, we don't want your answer. Let anybody else try to do the answer, answering. And I'm like, alright. Well, just call me when you need me. So, yeah. I was always prone to doodling. 
at classes because you know nobody wants nobody wants to have the wise kid to know everything be the guy that always is right <laughs> I was the guy who was always right doesn't mean that I could not be, be wrong but you know if it came to school things you could just ask me every single thing you want because I always have read every single thing I did I was always on time I always always had my homework done you know all that stuff all that lovely stuff homework oh yeah that's a thing that I always do and I'm always very happy that I did so because that's where I learned a lot of things yep. uh, let's see uh, oh, uh, hmm. Hmm. I see a problem here occurring, so I'm gonna be doing this instead. Oh boy, uh, looks like we're gonna need some bigger, well, looks like we're gonna need some bigger stuff happening then. There you go. See, American schools are basic set up so that if you turn in your papers and do well on your tests, you don't really have to do anything else to pass. So that's what I did. <laughs> well, congratulations, Blue. Because that's not how our system sadly works. Our system is like, hmm. You did very well at school. Well, congratulations. You still need to finish up. You still need to go to grown-up school and be even uh, get, get uh, and get a diploma. If you don't have a diploma, well, congratulations. Welcome to McDonald's. That's literally what we uh, what you get. And I mean it. And I mean it. So, yeah, I did my I have my diploma, but still I don't have work. What are the odds? Yay. Because I'm totally, I'm totally disabled, which really sucks. It's not, it's a mental, it's, it's a, ma it's not a, it's not a visible disability because you know you cannot see it. You can only see it when I'm in action, when I'm in action, which is the major problem that I hate about it. Because people don't see it, it means it does not exist according to them, which is the most problematic thing of it. And that's what I hate about it. It's like, oh, you cannot see that I'm disabled? Well, then you mean that I'm not disabled. What is wrong with you? Because I told you that I'm disabled. And then they are still flabbergasted when something went wrong. Went wrong. It's like, how could I not see this? Because you ignored that I was disabled and you did not put anything there to help me. How could I be wrong? <laughs> it's just that... Tests are so envily important that you don't need, don't even have to show up for classes if you can pass the test on your own. Oh wow, really? But then you will miss all the cool stuff like school fights and uh, bullying and uh, what is more to look at school when you are not. Oh yeah, friends and fun and. Uh, rumors and all that stuff. That's also very important to see. That's also very important. That's why I always went to school. To hear all the rumors and all the chit chat and all the things that, you know, other people were talking about that did not happen. You know? Like, did you know there was a fight at school? At school backyard, you know? Two years, uh, two years ago, we still hear there was a ghost back there. Ooh. And once you speak his name out, you could, you know, that stuff. That's really good rumors, by the way. Those rumors were the best. Yeah. We even had once that the police actually came in at our school. That was the greatest. They even arrest one of the peer, one of the school, uh, school uh, children, because he actually was trying to strangle someone to death. 
But, you know, that's things that I saw. Because I was actually near the thing that happened. But, you know, the big giant big boy who was strangling the person is not... I am not a very strong person. I'm quite weak, so I could not even intervene. So I was like, hmm. Somebody's getting strangled here. Glad I'm not it. So that was actually my motivation. Like, hmm, I should stay out of this. Definitely stay out of this. But yeah, you know, things happen at school. Things that stay in school, stay at school. And I love that. I love school for it. It's such a nice little place where you can speak to people. Without problems. But then, you know, I went to the grown-up schools and then everything went backwards. And I mean backwards, I mean by everything that has been taught by me, I don't need. And I was like, what the hell just happened? Because then I had to teach myself to know how to know things. And that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how anything works. Really. But yeah, I had to I had to reteach myself how to do things. Eventually I figured out, eventually I found a school which worked around, you know, with, uh, with my disability. So that's what I took. And it turned out to be a 3D printer, a 3D modeling slash 3D printing uh uh, how do you say school? So where I te where I learned how to do that. Yeah, it sounds really scary. It was scary at the time, but you know, eventually, you know, you accept like, yeah, that just happens, you know. So I'm no longer, you know, surprised when things such like that happens. I'm not quite surprised anymore. Oh boy, that that's bad. No, no. I need to get here, and I need to get. Zoomed in then, I guess. But yeah, I have seen some shit, so... I'm not surprised anymore for most things that happened in life. Like, oh yeah, that happens. How did that happen? Oh, because of this. Yes, of course, because of that. Because I calculated that that would happen. Oh my god, how did I know? Because, you know, I already calculated it. So... That's what I, how I learn how to live, and that's how I learn how to live, you know, I always calculate for every single opportunity that happens. But, if something doesn't happen according to my plan, I, I am the one who's gonna be flabbergasted, like, wait, what? That's not how anything works, that's not how my system works. It's supposed to be a foolproof system, dare you, life! You know, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's when, when I'm in the wrong, then, ho, oh, oh. ho. I'll be like, mm, right, I forgot about that, didn't I? I miscalculated this. <laughs> Alright, so we're back at uh, the place, and look at that. It's fixed. Boom, just like that. It's now a full part of a wing. Oh, yeah. Let's see what time it is. Oh, it is 15 minutes already. Alright. That's good. That means that I can now stop. So, uh, anyway, anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching, anyway. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all next time. And until then, I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.